Hello and welcome to new The Walking Dead World Beyond episode. My name is Larissa and today I'm going to react to the 6th episode. No, 5th. 6th. I think it's the 6th. Last time we saw at the end that uh, Hope found out that the woman she shot when she was little, she found out that that was Elton's mom. And I'm really curious to see if Elton is also going to find it out. Maybe not this episode, but I have a feeling that he's going to find it out before um, the end of this season. But anyway, beside that, we saw in the promo that this episode we were going to meet a new character. Uh, the guy who snuck up on, on them in the woods. I'm excited to meet a new character because till now it has only been them. And I want to see more characters and we're finally getting that. So I hope it will be a nice character. And yeah, let's watch it. A world with pets and homes. Grocery stores and hospitals, jobs and weekends. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> the people died. The love they felt for anyone or anything erased from memory. This show is so artsy. Done. They constantly Art do drawings and things like this. And for those of us born right before, the end of the world was our beginning. Wow. Don't get any closer. Why don't you just drop your weapon and we'll talk about it? I mean, you're alone, man. What are you gonna do? I already thought, where is Felix? Check the perimeter, see if he's got any friends. They look so scared just doing that. Where is your stuff? Your food? I don't have stuff. I don't have anything. Are you hungry, Percy? It's kind of weird though, he doesn't even have a backpack or something. I'm gonna rob my ass. What's that happen? Hmm. This isn't a vigilante type deal. Some things just can't be replaced. But what are that. you going to do on your own then? They're gonna help him, right? This is the new storyline for this episode. You can just so easily guess in the beginning of the episode what's going to happen in the rest of it. I open my eyes. It's a herd of bison. 200 of them just crossing the freaking overpass. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, that's wild. Um, just to see something like that. To me, it really sounds like he's yeah. making all of it up. Yeah. You saw the bison that winter? How'd you get from Wyoming to Florida in a couple months? It's impossible. Not here. I want to stole your supplies. I'm good. I misspoke. No, you did. Hmm. They stole your car. That's how you got from Wyoming to Florida so fast. That's what they took, right? Engines. I knew something just right. wasn't right. It's not just a working truck, okay? It's carrying barrels of refined fuel. It's like winning the jackpot. Mm -hmm. Two of them. Six of us. But yeah, but those four children, they can't do anything. <laughs> it's basically Felix and the other guy. Yeah. We either get hurt or we have to hurt them. We do have the element of surprise on our side. If we wanted to steal your truck, we would just take it. Tell us where it's it was. like one night passed and Felix suddenly has a beard. We don't find ourselves a truck. Of course. What was she like? She was great. Sunday morning, she, she saw death and decay as no better or worse than any of life cycles. She wasn't afraid of it. Why is Hope even asking oh, that? Do you want to hurt yourself? The book. Or, well, want to feel guilty it. even more? Mother will never be forgotten. I'll help you finish it. Yeah, collecting samples, taking pictures of worms and stuff. Why do you have a feeling like she's going to make it worse by doing this? When he finds out eventually, he's like, and you helped me with that and you just killed my mom? Hey, big guy. I can fix that boot for you. Mm -hmm. Silas is so jealous. I can join you back here for my dazzling conversational skills or you really not like that kid. I don't. I don't know why anybody else does. Ow. Well first of all, he's fucking hot. No. Do you ever see someone and you're like, that's what I wanna look like if I were in an apocalypse? We shouldn't do this. We're wasting time. We need to make a decision. Does Felix just look more tired or did his beard really just grew so much in one night? I'm still confused. There's something different and I, I think it's the beard, but yeah. Oh shit. What is it? What? Tony. Oh? Maybe the other guy did kill him in the end. 
worse. Yeah. But then he's not just gonna leave the truck out there, right? Oh shit. Oh my. Hey, I told you to wait on the other side. I no keys, but I got this. Hey, now what do you do? Bring those keys back. Don't be an idiot. Are you crazy? We said we'd help. I'm going to. Oh. Sorry, but I just hate Iris so much. She's so annoying. I gotta say this episode is Till now, the most exciting one I've seen, and we're not, we're halfway now, so I kind of have hope because of this episode. I also just saw that it is highest rated. It's only a six, but it's still the highest of all of them. <sighs> My fucking heart. Why would you do that, man? I thought I was a walker. You could just open the door and say, hey, I'm here. I can't take it. Am I the only one who always wonders how their hair stays so perfect in a zombie apocalypse? Like they've been on the road for weeks. We can't keep being so afraid. Maybe a week now, but long. Look her hair. Not gross at all. Just looking fine. What's up with the jump scares in this episode? I remember The Walking Dead also had an episode like that last season, and then they were like, "Let's make it a horror show because." It's The Walking Dead, and it can be creepy. Would it be if I was? Yeah. 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 We were doing fine back then. Slow and sore, but fine. Well, anything to get your dad faster is worth it, right? This no, show is literally only about the differences in what they all want. It's just the four of them, and there are always two who want that, and two who want that, and that's always what it's about. It's just little things that matter now, I'll never forget. Hmm. I'll tell Maybe we should focus instead of talking. He is going to find out. It's getting so close constantly. <laughs> oh yeah, that that's the way. Ew. I wonder how many more jump scares they're gonna do. This was the fourth one, I believe. Oh. Come on, he could come out any minute. Take your time, man. There's not a lot of time. Hi, Felix. Get the car started. I'll be down in a second. Don't. It's not always true that. They took my stuff. I'm taking it back. In the time you're arguing, you could have. Uh, I've grabbed it already. I... Iris, run. Dude, if he shot him, he's dead, okay? Do you want to die? Oh fuck. Oh, he's a walker. Oh my god, I thought he wasn't dead or something, but damn. Huh? Was this a setup? This was a setup all. <gasps> This is so messed up. In the beginning, I knew something was off, but then I thought it was just because he lied about the stuff and didn't tell about the car. But I didn't really see this coming. But oh, it's not just one. Oh, oh fuck! Oh, 
Honestly, in the normal Walking Dead, I would be like, oh, just a few walkers. But now I'm like, no, two walkers, she's gonna die. <laughs> Change your mind. Out here, that's pretty much as good as it gets. Keep your eye on the ball. To the left that. one. Knew it wouldn't be. What? No. Thought so. <laughs> Scammer. Young lady, for 15 years I was Tony Del Mar, resident illusionist at the Paradise Lounge in Las Vegas. That's why the makeup job is flawless. <laughs> this was me this Halloween. It's, it's how we get what we need, not hurting people. <laughs> wow. You guys deserve nothing. I mean, it's a good thing he changed his mind, but... I'd be pissed too. I mean, she could have died out there after he left her. I really thought I had good instincts. You do. You came back up those stairs to help me. I probably run this group a dozen times. My people always take the keys and run. But you didn't. But if you hear a gunshot he saw me and, and you think he's dead, dead, there's no reason to go back. That's why I came back. If you'd let me. You what? Yeah, absolutely. He's just wondering where this sudden interest comes from. I'm always wondering if she just feels guilty or if she feels anger because that still is the woman who killed her mom. Really difficult I situation. I want to know about that. Fetching and signaling you got there. Saying goes, don't bullshit a bullshitter. Especially one from Vegas. Oh, what? I know whatever group's behind this doesn't mess around. We get into a bind, can that patch of yours get us out? I'm afraid not. Of course it can. I really like those new characters. It really brings something to the show. I don't want to say that it's completely fixed now that they're here. But it's more exciting. Some people make it look so easy. Are we what? gonna get an entire show? Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, we welcome you to the end <laughs> of the world. I thought we were gonna get something really funny and then this music just started to play. Oh, so they did that! It's really cool though. Aww. Felix is like, what the fuck am I looking at? Okay, I really like how they like started with this in the beginning and then in the beginning you don't really know what it meant because I was like, okay, the show is just being really art today, also always use those drawings and stuff. But then it ends like that and then you know why. I just really like that. And honestly, I think this episode was really good. I'm I'm surprised. I'm actually happy with an episode for once. I mean I, I liked the previous two also, but they were still quite boring. But this one, this one was actually exciting and, and, and I was just like, okay, what's going to happen? And 
Uh, to, oh, is this an after credit scene? This is an after credit scene. I won't miss it this time. Yeah, this has something to do with their father because we also constantly see him in the picture. Is their father even still alive? It will be taken care of by the time they arrive. Dr. Bennett won't be a problem. His security detail won't be either. They know they're coming. Of course. Thank you, Lieutenant Colonel. These um, after credit scenes are interesting. Anyway, uh, I'm not gonna talk too long because my girlfriend literally just came in and I was like, I'm in the middle of a recording and now she's waiting outside for me to finish this. But um, I'm gonna do a really quick, quick review. I already said I really liked the episode. Um, it was exciting and I'm actually really surprised about that. I like the new characters and in the beginning, I just knew something was off about that guy, but I also, yeah, I, I just trusted him kind of, but I also didn't. But when he was like, okay, I lied, it was about my car. I thought, oh, okay, then it was just that. But yeah, then it appeared to be one big trick to just steal their stuff. But I'm glad they came back. And I hope they'll stay in the show because yeah, they're, they're bringing something to the show. And like I said, I really liked um, the thing with the, the sticks and the shadow things so yeah so yeah i'm really <laughs> going to stop this reaction now because i can't let her wait outside this long um i hope you like this reaction let me know what you thought of the episode i think it was surprisingly good compared to the rest and um did you like it please leave a like subscribe and then i hope to see you next time bye